It's January 27th, 2012, wine pickup day. I have a friend named Kent. He and I used to work together until about 10 years ago when he decided that wine and winemaking were his true passions. So he quit the agency and decided to learn the wine business from the ground up, literally. He went and got a commercial driver's license so he could drive forklifts and other heavy equipment at vineyards and wineries during harvest season. He did that for a couple of seasons and then started his own winery. It's been going for several years now. They seem to be doing great. They produce really excellent wine. Really neat twist is the way that they do their labels. They have a different artist do each vintage. Sometimes it's paintings, sometimes it's photographs. It's always interesting. Got the link down below. Check it out. So I buy their wine a couple of times a year. They've got a shipment ready for me to pick up. I'm going to head up to Santa Rosa in Sonoma County. Should be a nice day for a drive. Maybe I'll get to have lunch with Kent. One of my favorite drives heading over the Golden Gate Bridge, as corny as it probably sounds, as touristy as it is. Sorry the sun's right in the camera. Not much I can do. I don't think I ever get tired of going over this bridge. I'm not sure how anyone could, especially on a day like today where it's crystal clear out, hardly any traffic on the road. It's, it's just fantastic. When is this wine going to be ready? Well, the barrels you're looking at here are empty. Oh, these are empty? When they're turned on their side like this, uh -huh. they're empty. We put the empty ones out front because those need to be cleaned regularly. We steam them on the inside, and then they get washed on the outside, and then they get gassed. And it's all about maintenance of so the empty ones. The full ones are upright like these. Yeah. And you can tell they sound different. We keep most of the full ones in the back of the rows. So all those on this side that you saw, there are full ones behind them. That wine, it's all from the last harvest, so we'll bottle it next December. We'll bottle it December of 2012, mm -hmm. April, April of 2013, and then we'll release it six months to a year after that. So it's two and a half to three years away from release. So it's two and a half to three years before I get to drink it. Actually, <laughs> you should wait a year longer than that. <laughs> It's about four years away from table ready. I don't have that much storage space. Yeah, that's why we're trying to hold them longer. Yeah. We try, each release we're staggering it and like trying to hold one wine six months longer because people are only so patient. Now what are these for? Basically, when wine's in the barrel, it evaporates slowly. Right. And so you have to go and fill it. So that's so, what you fill, you refill with this. Yeah. These are all under gas pressure. Keeps the wine from oxidizing. Cool. So we put all, but now we've got enough of them. We've got these four over here, all of them up this side. That I gotta label them so that I know what's in them all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a perfect one to show you. Because yeah. this is a relatively new bottling. Sasha Marie, that's our daughter. Mm. So we do a, a Syrah for Kayla. Right, I've, I've, I've had that, that, that several times. But yeah, so you'll start seeing Sasha Marie on a fairly regular basis. Cool. This comes out in the spring. That'll be part of the next shipment. Something to look forward to. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Leave the car sitting in the sun for a couple of hours and it's hot. Stopped at Starbucks and got a my first iced drink of 2012. It's probably 70 degrees right now, which I guess isn't really that warm. It just feels warmer in this car. That's all. Heading home. We're above the bridge, essentially. Well, certainly above the bridge roadway and getting level with the towers. Unfortunately, this is this area is always packed with tourists, and getting behind a slow car is not fun on this road. That's not too shabby. I guess one of the good things about touristy areas is I don't have to be shy of toting the camera around. Just a nice curve. Come on. Uh, you can't stop.
not even close to the red line yet either. This is one of my favorite stretches of roads in San Francisco. We're in the Presidio, heading south. And I love this grove of eucalyptus trees. You've got the sunroof open. I can smell the eucalyptus coming through it. Sorry to sound so self-satisfied about my life today. But it's a gorgeous January day in California. The sun is shining, the sunroof is open, and what can I say? But life is very, very pleasant. Hopefully, your life's great too. Home! Home again. Home from Sonoma. I got my case of wine that I picked up for my friend Kent. Hello, Sydney. How are you? So, shall we see what's in here? Oh, it's not a case, it's a half a case. So let's see. Syrah, 2009. Nice. What do we have here? A Grenache. Also 09. Ah, this is Pinot, Pinot from the Stilling Vineyards. I know uh, the Stillings, we used to work together. Also, they grow the grapes. Kent makes the wine. Pretty cool. And these are the whites. The Sonoma Chardonnay. That's the label. Oh, good assortment. Yeah. I still will drink the, um, the cheap two buck chuck on a daily basis. When we have folks over, when I have a nice meal at home, pull out one of these bottles. They're good.